Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. I just returned from Blue Lagoon where I have made this real footage of all the lava fields in the lava walls and you can enjoy it from the era while we discuss the ongoing uh, volcanic situation in Grindavik and Blue Lagoon area. First we will go over the latest update from Icelandic Met Office which is rather important. Uh, Icelandic Met Office reports that the formation measurements show that the land uplift continues at the same rate as in recent weeks. Magma continues to accumulate beneath Swartsengi and its volume has reached the highest level recorded since the eruptive uh, series began at Sunnukur Kretero in December 2023. Seismic activity at Sunnu Kurkaitero has been gradually increasing alongside magma accumulation following a pattern similar to that observed before the November eruption. So Icelandic Met Office still expects at least one more eruption in the amount of magma which accumulated below Svartsengi has never been as big as now. Uh, since the eruption ended, seismic activity has been located slightly further east compared to the activity leading up to the eruption that began on November 20s. It means more in direction of Reykjavik, more towards Fagradalsfjall, which is situated um, to the east of Sunnukur. Uh, the earthquakes east of Sunukur Kretero are likely tectonic earthquakes caused by increased pressure in the region due to magma accumulation. Therefore, these earthquakes are not necessarily an indication of the likely eruption site, although this can be ruled out. Further analysis of the seismic data is currently underway and may shed more light on the cause of this shift in the earthquake location. Considering the increase in seismic activity alongside continued land uplift and magma accumulation, the most likely scenario is that this period of magma accumulation will result in a dike intrusion towards Sunukur Kretero. It is likely that this will result in a volcanic eruption mark marking the eighth eruption since the end of 2023. <clears throat> Three months have passed since the most recent eruption concluded, lasting 18 days and ending on December 8th. Uh, this is the longest period of magma accumulation that has been observed during this eruptive series on, uh, at Sunukur Kretero, with today marking 111 days since the last eruption began on November 20, 2024. Uh, the volume of magma that has been accumulated beneath Swartsengi during this period is the highest estimated since the beginning of this eruptive series in December 2023. Therefore, it is possible that if an eruption occurs in the coming days or weeks, it could be comparable to or larger than the eruption in August 2024, which was the largest so far in terms of volume. Based on, on past events, the size of the possible eruption will depend on how much magma is released from the magma chamber when the eruption begins. Currently, it is difficult to predict the size of the next event with certainty. Yeah, those are the major news from the Icelandic Met Office. We will also go over the opinions of leading volcanologists in Iceland. So far, as you see, they do expect an eruption probably along the same fissure line as you see here on the video where I'm zooming in and the steaming the smoke and fissures that's where we had the eruption last time precisely along this line and it's still steaming or degassing there as you see three days ago the leading Icelandic newspaper called the morning newspaper or Morgun Bladi in Icelandic published an interview with leading Icelandic volcanologist Thorvaldur Thordarsson and we will go over that as well. It is uh, entitled as Volcanic Eruption Possible Near March 20s. Uh, 
uh, volcanologists or all those sort of songs says that it may erupt around March 20th. If an eruption occurs on the Reykjanes Peninsula, it is most likely to happen around March 20th, according to volcanologist Thorvaldur Thorderson. However, he emphasizes that predicting an eruption remains uncertain, and it is possible that magma is accumulating vast of clay Varvat Lake. That is really strange. It means between clay Varvat somewhere and Fagradalsfjall. At the moment, inflation at Sunukagiyo crater is slowing down, Thorderson told to the morning newspaper, adding that this could indicate an, Im an imminent eruption. However, he cautioned that the chances are still 50-50. Thorderson suggests that if an eruption does occur, it will likely follow the famil familiar pattern of past events, this would be a recurring theme, most likely beginning at Mount Storaskogfat, before cracks extend in one or both directions. The eruption could last for several days or even weeks, he explained it. Uh, at the moment, there is an earthquake swarm uh, near Klevermat Lake, which is much further east of Sunukur Crater. Um, this was on Sunday. Uh, March 9th. Despite the Reykjanes Peninsula entering the prolonged volcanic period that could last 200 or 300 years, Thordrason believes that eruptions at Sunuka Giga Crater are nearing approaching their conclusion. The Mount Fagradalsfjall volcanoes were active for about two years before activity shifted further to the west towards Sunuka Giga Crater just over a year ago. These two eruptions have shown differences. For instance, we saw less inflation at Mount Fagradasfjall. Now, the current eruption cycle appears to be winding down, and I firmly expect that Sunukar volcanoes will finish their activity this year, he said, which is a kind of great news if this will be true, especially for the residents of Grindavik, for whom this volcano had been a real terrorist and also Blue Lagoon, of course. While the next earthquake swarm could begin at any time, its exact location remains unknown. So much mystery about the volcanic eruptions in general. And an earthquake swarm west of Klevervat Lake uh, last night suggests that magma may be accumulating in that area. There is now an earthquake swarm at Svev Pluhals west of Klevervat Lake. I did hike that ridge. Uh, two years ago, when I was hiking towards Little Hrutur, you can see the videos of um, Little Hrutur volcano erupting uh, from Sveipluhals Ridge, which is the biggest ridge right east of Little Hrutur. It is west of Klevarat Lake. The fact that these quakes are carrying five kilometers deep suggests magma is accumulating beneath. This could eventually lead to an eruption there which will be kind of good news for photographic enthusiasts and uh, uh, people like me, as this area is um, totally wild and doesn't present uh, the volcano, if it erupts there, it doesn't present any danger to, to infrastructure or roads or anything, there's simply nothing there. Um, though whether that happens this year or in 10 years or in 20 is impossible to say, Thorderson explained it. However, he noted a, sil a silver lining for residents, for residents and businesses near Grindavik in Blue Lagoon. If volcanic activity shifts elsewhere, things will likely come down in those areas, which is positive, good news for the residents of Grindavik. Those were the major updates from Iceland. Now you can see the wall, which is still being raised. I was there when I was there. I saw trucks. Uh, still working on raising the wall that is constantly driving up on this wall and it's a real uh, real great wall of Iceland as you see the size of it is just uh, tremendous but uh, keep in mind that lava there are a lot of lots of lava came on the other side of the wall as you see it's only five meters above the current five or six meters something like that above the current lava which is behind the wall, and this is the parking lot, and there you see they are making the new uh, parking lot
for Blue Lagoon because this temporarily parking which we are using is simply not sufficient to accumulate all the cars and tourists coming to Blue Lagoon as this is the most popular tourist destination in Iceland and now it's low season but in the summer we'll have triple amount of cars which uh, there will be simply no place to to accommodate so they are working also in the new parking for Blue Lagoon this is how Blue Lagoon looks it was the day before yesterday I was there um, when I filmed this it was in the evening I often come there with a group of tourists who visit Blue Lagoon and then I wait two hours until they finish bathing uh, so Enjoy the rest of the footage. I wish you all the best. God bless you all. Have a nice day. Be well. Peace and blessings.